Pikachu evolved. I am so screwed. Hello friends, my name is Internet, and welcome to the Pokemon trading card game. This is a game that I played when I was a kid, and I loved it, and I traded it for Pokemon Crystal, I think. It was either this or my Harry Potter game. I traded it for Pokemon Crystal, and I can't remember which one. At some point, we'll play my Harry Potter game that I played when I was a kid, too. But yeah, start a new game. My name is... Jax. Today, my name is Jax. Let's go. Jax is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day, Jax heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card game's greatest players. The Grand Masters are searching for one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Jax visits the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. And it's very, um, Yoshi's World-esque. Oh, why the rush, Jax? What? You want to learn how to play the Pokemon trading card game? So you, too, finally want to start playing the card game. Well, dueling is more fun than just collecting cards. First, you should try playing with a practice deck. Here, I'll give you this deck and now you'll need an opponent. Hey, Sam, play with him for a while. Yes, Dr. Mason. Hello, Jax. Okay, let's give it a try. I haven't played Pokemon. Hey, Jax, hurry and come here. Alright, okay. First, ask Sam the basics of the game. Okay, Jax, what do you want to ask about? Is that all? Yes. They say actions speak louder than words, so let's play a game. Since this is your first time, just try to learn the basic steps. I'll be co coaching you. So follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, we won't be able to proceed. It might be easier if you read the Pokemon trading card game instruction booklet while we play. Okay, then let's start your practice game. Protect Sam. Sam's practice deck. Since this is just practice, do not shuffle the deck. Each player will draw seven cards. Okay. Choose a basic Pokemon to place in the arena. Draw seven cards and get ready for battle. Choose your active Pokemon. You can only choose between basic Pokemon and your active Pokemon. So you can choose either Goldeen or Staryu. For our practice duel, choose Goldeen. Goldeen level 12 was placed in the arena. You may choose up to five basic Pokemon to place on the bench. Next, put your Pokemon on the bench. You can switch bench Pokemon with your active Pokemon. Again, only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. Choose Staryu from your hand and put it there. Okay. Place Staryu level 15 on the bench. When you have no Pokemon to put on your bench, press the B button to finish. Placing the prizes. Please place two prizes. <coughs> A coin toss will be decided... A coin will be tossed to decide who plays first. If heads, Jax plays first. You play first. Jax's turn. Draw one card from the deck. You drew water energy. To use an attack command, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Choose cards from the menu and select a water energy card. Next, choose your active Pokemon, Goldeen, and press the A button. Then the water energy will be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting an attack command. Choose an attack from the menu and select horn attack. Now let's play the game. And water play Goldeen. Attach water energy to Goldeen. Attack, horn attack. Traps level 20 took 10 damage. Sam's turn. Draw one card from the deck. Sam is thinking. Attach fighting energy to Machop. The chops level 20 and use low kick. Goldeen took 20 damage. Jax's turn. Draw one card from the deck. You drew water energy. The Goldeen's gonna get knocked out. Let's evolve it. Choose Seeking from your hand and attach it to Goldeen to evolve it. Its HP increases from 40 to 70. Your Seeking doesn't have enough energy to use Waterfall. You need to attach a Psychic Energy to card to Seeking. Uh, blank means an energy card. Now you can use Waterfall. Keep the water energy card for other Pokemon. Now let's attack your opponent with Seeking's Waterfall. Let's play the game. They were not afraid to give you multiple instructions. Seeking level 28, it's Waterfall. A shot took 30 damage. 
Place Rattata level 9 on the bench. Attach fighting type energy. <sighs> Got a little kicked. Draw one card from the deck. He drew water energy. Seeking's got enough energy, so you don't need to attach any more. Attach energy cards to your bench Pokemon to get them ready for battle. Attach a water energy card to your bench Staryu. Next, select the attack command. Machop has 10 HP. Seeking's horn attack will be enough to knock out the Machop. Now choose Seeking's horn attack. Now Machop's HP is 0 and it's knocked out. When you knock out the defending Pokemon, you can pick up a prize. Now let's play the game. Okay. And then we'll attack. Cool. I knocked out my shot. Sam plays to Rattata level 9. Sam's turn. Draw one card from the deck. Ow. Rattata evolved into Raticate. Uh oh. Lightning energy to Raticate. He's going to use Hyper Fang. Oh, he used Bite. I wonder if Hyper Fang is a thing yet. Seeking level 28 took 20 damage. Jax's turn. Draw one card from the deck. You drew a Drowsy level 12. When all of your Pokemon are knocked out and there are no Pokemon in your bench, you lose the game. Put Drowsy the basic Pokemon you just drew on your bench. Attach a water energy card to Drowsy to get it ready to attack. Choose your acti active seeking and attack your opponent with Waterfall. Now let's play the game. Okay. And I can check it as well to see all of its costs. Was I supposed to do anything else? Oh, okay, I needed to attach a water energy to Drowsy. That's what it was. Okay. I knew there was something that I missed, but I forgot. Attack. Waterfall. Show one card from the deck. Attach lightning energy to eradicate. Uh oh. He bit me. Choose a bitch Pokemon. You now have Drowsy and Staryu. Choose Staryu as the active Pokemon for this practice duel. Here, press select to check Pokemon data. It is important to know your cards and the status of your Pokemon. Let's play the game. Use your potion. Starry evolves into Starmie. Let's get Starry ready to use Starmie's attack command when it evolves into Starmie. Choose the water energy card from your hand and attach it to Starry. Attack your opponent with Starry. Slap. Now let's play the game. Uh, weakness, lightning. Slap 20 energy. Okay. Slap! <coughs> Sam is thinking. Placement shop level 20 on the bench. Drew seeking. Can't do anything. Wow, recover start now recover star you with the trainer card. Choose potion from your hand. Now let's get ready to evolve it into star me. Also attach a water energy card to star you. Attack your opponent with star you slapped in your turn. Let's play the game. Alright. Finally draw the Starmie card. Choose Starmie from your hand and use it to evolve Staryu. 
You've already attached enough energy to star, uh, star you. Oh, to use star freeze. Attack your opponent with star based star freeze. Okay. <clears throat> Paralysis check if heads the opponent is paralyzed. <coughs> I wish it was that easy. Between turns. The chop is cured of paralysis. Cool. Drew a water energy card. Now the chop has only 10 HP left. Let's finish the battle. Attack with Starmie Star Freeze. You've knocked out your opponent. Pick up the last prize. Jax is the winner. Now let's play the game. Cool. Doesn't matter. But okay. Yay! I won the duel! Woohoo! Basically, this is how the Pokemon training guard game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam. It might be helpful to practice again, too. This time it's just practice, so I had you follow everything I said, but there are still other styles to play. So try them out by choosing a normal duel. Now then, let's build your deck. Did you bring your cards? Jax handed his cards to Dr. Mason. Hmm, let me add some of my own cards to yours. Wow, Jax, what kind of deck do you want? Please select the deck you want. Ooh, Charmander and Fred, Squirtle and Friends, Bulbasaur and Friends. Um, we will use Bulbasaur and Friends. A Bulbasaur and Friends deck? Oh. Yes. Okay, a Bulbasaur and Friends deck. Here are the remaining cards. You should deal with as many different people. You should deal with many different people. Why don't you go to one of the card clubs? There are many people playing at the clubs. <laughs> at the club, collect new cards and try building a new deck. All right, bye. Well, getting the fighting medal isn't that hard. If I keep this up, I should be able to get the other legendary Pokemon cards. What? It's you, Jax. What are you doing, huh? That's a deck. Are you trying to get the legendary Pokemon cards? Yeah. What? I can't believe it. You, the legendary Pokemon cards. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. All right, listen up. I'll teach you what it's about. To inherit the legendary Pokemon cards, you must defeat uh, eight club masters and get the eight medals. Then you have to go to the Pokemon Dome and defeat all four of the grandmasters there. There's no way you can do it. Might as well just give up and go home because the legendary Pokemon cards are going to be mine. I've already won the first medal. See ya, Jax. <laughs> ah, stupid kid. Okay, cool. Hey. Hello, welcome to the fighting club. Here at the club, we duel using fighting Pokemon. Don't mind that kid over there. He's kind of a dick. I'm sorry about him. Oh no, no worries. No dirty dueling is allowed though. Only nice clean duels are allowed in this club. Okay, can I just go this way? Hey, I am Mitch, master of the fighting club. I have to warn you that you will be unable to defeat me. If you wish to duel with me, you must defeat my pupils first. My pupils are training at other clubs. Go see if you can defeat all three of my pupils. All right. So I gotta go find all the pupils. Lightning Club! Greetings! Welcome to the Lightning Club! At this club, we use decks made up of mostly lightning Pokemon. Would you like to get charged up with us? And I guess the master is in here. Isn't Pikachu totally cute? My heart skips a beat whenever I see the cute little eyes. Hey, you wanna duel my Pikachu deck? Uh, yes. Okay then, let's play with the four prizes. Lightning Club member Jennifer Pikachu deck. Each player will shuffle the opponent's deck. Each player will draw seven cards. Choose a basic Pokemon to place in the arena. Uh, Nidoran. Meowth is so cute though. A Nidoran level 13 was placed in the arena. You may choose up to five basic Pokemon to place on the bench. Place Meowth level 14 on the bench. Okay, placing prizes. Please place four prizes. The coin will be tossed to decide who plays first. If heads, Jax plays first. Hey, 
You play first. Jax's turn. Draw one card from the deck. You drew Professor Oak. Alright, what does Professor Oak do? Discard your hand, draw seven cards. Okay. Uh, check in play area. You have Fury Swipes for one grass, and then Call for Family for two. What the hell do those do? Fury Swipes. Flip three coins. The attack does ten damage times the number of heads. Ooh. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon named Nidoran or Nidoran, and place it into your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. You can't use this attack if your bench is already full. What about me, Elf? Uh, Cat Punch. Does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon chosen at random doesn't apply weakness and resistance for this attack. Any other effects that would happen after applying weakness and resistance still happen. Uh, so I need to attach a Grass Energy to you. Uh, okay, that's what I thought. Uh, attack, Fury Swipes. Damage check if heads ten dam times ten damage. Yes. Flying Pikachu. Jennifer's turn. Attach lightning energy to the flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu's level twelve, it's thunder shock. Paralysis check if heads the opponent's paralyzed. Hell yeah. Nidoran level 13 took 10 damage. I don't even know what's in my deck. I need to check. True grass energy. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's a Nidoran female. Go ahead and grab another end male, because I have another end female. Hmm. Look at that old Pikachu. <clears throat> oh no. I'm paralyzed. Drew a card, water energy. I guess I'll attach this to Dinner <laughs> in its grass type. That's just weird. That's just you. Um, I can't attack, so I guess I'm done. Do, do. A Pokeball. What does that do? Flip a coin. If heads, you may search your deck for any basic Pokemon or evolution card. Show that card to your opponent and then put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. You can't use Pokeballs in a trainer battle. Uh oh. Oh god. Alright, that's fine. We've got Horn Hazard for 30. Flip a coin of Tells. This attack does nothing. Okay, and Meowth is 2 energy. Go ahead and attach a Grass to Meowth. Oh, I can't retreat when I'm paraly paralyzed. Okay. I didn't know that. <clears throat> uh oh. Paralysis check! Oh god. How did I get paralyzed three times in a row? Come on. What nonsense. I drew a Kingler. That's a level or a stage one, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Meowth. Can't really do anything with the rest of this. So I'm going to play Professor Oak. And then I've got a Caterpie and a Bulbasaur and a Nidoran Mel. A revive, that's nice. 
Um, I'm gonna put. Hold on, what are you? Stream shot 10. Flip coin if heads, if any Pokemon is paralyzed. Unless all damage from this attack is prevented, you may remove one damage counter from Bulbasaur. Okay. Put you on the bench. I think I can only place one Pokemon on the bench a turn, right? Oh no, I can place as many as I want. Okay. Let's touch my grass energy. Oh, I already attached energy. Okay. Well, I guess I can do nothing now. Your turn. Oh, he retreated. <coughs> yes! Not paralyzed, but am I dead? I don't remember if it's two. Ah, damn it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and place... Uh... Meowth. Uh, drill water energy. Okay. Uh, hand grass play on Bulbasaur. I can revive Nidoran. And I can't attach anything else, but I can attack with Cat Punch. Hey! Flying Pikachu is knocked out. Hell yeah. Goldine. <coughs> cool. Oh god. You have so many Pokeballs. Hey. Oh god. <laughs> I used Bill. Another Flying Pikachu? Oh my god. Alright. That's fine. I drew a Tingula. Um, I can attach a water energy to Eevee, though. Well, fudge. Alright. Please don't paralyze me. I want to remove my Meowth from play. Okay. I got another Nidoran female. Okay. So we're going to... Uh... I'll discard this. Crap. I can't do anything. I thought it was one. Damn it! That's fine. It's fine. <sighs> hey, no paralyze. <coughs> Drew a defender. Attach Defender to one of your Pokemon at the end of your opponent's next turn. Discard Defender. Damage done to that Pokemon attack is reduced by 20. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and attach another Water Energy to... E Wait, hold on. It's two, right? Uh... Yeah, two for Quick Attack. Okay. Uh, attach another Water Energy to Eevee... And then I'm going to use the Defender on Bulbasaur. I don't think I can do anything else. Alright, so I guess I'm done. <sighs> Why do you have so many of these? <sighs> no. 
Bulb of sword did not receive damage, but I was paralyzed. Okay. Well. I drew a water energy. Jiminy Christmas. Uh, check. I think I'm just going to attach this to Meowth. And hope for the best. So I can't do anything. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pikachu evolved at Y. Uh huh. If heads do not receive damage or effects on a Pokemon's next attack. That still killed me. Or it knocked me out. I haven't drawn any prizes! Uh, I don't really have a. I mean, I guess I'll use Eevee. I got a seeking. Hey. Uh, okay. That's fine. I can. Ow! Stop! can't do anything with Goldeen, but if I do anything else, then she's just gonna knock me out, so. Oh, plus power. Cool. I don't have any energy, though! a single prize. I played so horribly. I think she's not only cute, but strong too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play against someone else. Lightning Pokemon can attack opponent's bench. Lightning Pokemon are the toughest Pokemon. How about it? You wanna duel me? Sure, the Pikachu girl didn't work out. Let's, let's go. <sighs> I need more energy. That's why I got coffee. Vaporeon in an arena this time. <coughs> uh, I don't have any. Coin toss, we decided who goes first. Jack plays first. I play first. Nice. I drew a fire energy. Okay. Um, wait. Seal ice type isn't in this. Uh, weakness is electric. Oh god. Uh, headbutt 10 for 1. Oh, this is bad. Um, can't really do anything else this turn anyway, so let's just attack. Electric move. Wait, this has to be an electric Pokemon, not an electric move. <coughs> well, that's annoying. Unless the tackle was electric. Um, I, think I have to use Professor Oak. I can't do anything else here. Okay, Caterpie. Uh, Tangela. Krabby. Uh, two water and, and normal for Aurora Beam. So I guess I'll attach another water to seal as long as you're still alive. Um, I can't do anything else right now though. I guess I'll attack. Yeah, yeah. 
Got an Eevee. Okay. I need I need to attach this to seal. And Dugong. Attack. I can't use Ice Beam. I'll use Aurora Beam. Hmm. Yes. Okay, that's fine. I'll use that on one of my guys. Oh god. <sighs> okay, go skull. Cool. Fetch and comet punch. What does Ice Beam do? Flip a coin if heads the defending Pokemon is paralyzed. Okay. Um, or I could just knock you out and attach my grass energy to Caterpie. <laughs> Dude, this dugong is gonna carry us to victory! I got Venusaur. Okay. Test grass energy to coughing. Cool. Use tackle. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a potion? I got a Kingler. I'll go ahead and attach this fire energy to Eevee. Hey, grass energy. <laughs> well, looks like I get to kill you. Alright, cool Dean. Uh, we'll go ahead and place you on the field. There's no space for me to place you on the field. That's fine. Um, just attach this to King. Why not? Alright! Goodbye! <laughs> Seal Dugong for the win! Deck loss. I can't believe it. Jax received a booster pack. Coliseum. Jax checked the cards of the booster pack. Ooh, a Gyarados, Professor Oak, a Nerino, a Growlithe, a Jigglypuff, Magnemite, Pikachu, Chop, Abra, Lightning, Energy. Okay. And another booster pack. Ooh, a Scyther and an Arcanine. Cool. I won't lose next time. I'm gonna zap you. Uh-huh. Yes, I would like to duel you. Okay, four prizes. Ready? Let's do it. Alright, Brandon. <sighs> okay. Um, yes. Oh no, I don't think I have a water. Oh no, this is a problem. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have a water. <laughs> cool. Ow, cat. I got a Flareon. Cool. Um... I can't attack. Uh. This which is Yeah. Nice. Now I can attack you. Almost a problem. Oh, 
Oh god. Why do you have a Zapdos? Alright. Yay, paralysis. Ow. Stop with the claws. Cool. I got an iteran. Place the iteran. Attach another water to steal. And I'm just gonna attack with string shot again. Yay! Another paralysis. Knock out this magnemite. And he's gonna take me out with the zapters. <sighs> yep. Cure to paralysis. Cool. Got a Goldeen! Yes! Doesn't matter though, you're dead. Hmm. Paralysis, paralyzed, paralyzed and knocked out. Ooh, Metapod, stiffen and stun for. Spore. Yep. Flip a coin. If heads prevent all damage done to Metapod during your opponent's next turn. Flip a coin. If heads, the defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. Okay. You got a Pikachu. Ow. Pikachu evolved. I am so screwed. If heads did not receive or effects or damage. Okay. Well. Alright. Well. Full heal. Nice. Okay. So I have one grass attached. Um, I just need two for stun spore. And I can also use stiffen. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on Caterpie. And use Metapod. And then I'm going to use stiffen. Damn it! <coughs> My stiffen was unsuccessful. <sighs> uh oh. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I'm dead, but you know you took thirty damage too, so that's nice. Okay. Draw one prize. Nice. Um, I'm gonna place Nidoran. I got a Vaporeon. Got nothing else to do but Fury Swipes. Oh. Okay. Might at least did 10 damage, that's fine. <sighs> Not ideal, but it's fine. Oh god. Damn it! <sighs> Good lord. This Raichu needs to go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna place Eevee. Well, either way, you're gonna knock me out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play Vaporeon. Uh, yeah. Yes! It's 30 damage. Now I take double damage from Thunder, but I don't have anything else I can do. Yes! 
He gets knocked out, and so do I. 120 damage. Yep. That's not helpful. Okay. Cat, I need you to chill. I need you to fire energy. And now he's gonna knock me out. Mm. Unlucky. Don't apply weakness and resistance for this attack. Any other? Oh. Okay. I got a water energy. Not that it matters. Cause I cannot literally do anything. Damn it! Ugh! Why am I so bad at this game? Okay. Hey, don't take it so hard. It's just so good. I'll tell you anytime. Come back and see me again. Okay. Well, maybe we shouldn't have gone to the lightning area with a bunch of water Pokemon. That wasn't the best idea, but I've been recording for 50 minutes. So I'm going to end this episode here. I am going to play another episode right away, though, because I love this game with all of my heart. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Knight setting out. Bye!